Hello, everybody. Welcome to Beauty Graffiti. We are live. This is episode four, and it is how to brow. So first, I am not wearing any makeup whatsoever on my face. I just have a tinted lip balm on my lips. And if you've noticed, speaking of brows, I have half of a brow, really, of my natural brow. So I've done that because as a person with hooded eyes, which means not a lot of my eyelids shows. I have a lot of real estate <laughs> going on up here. Um, so with a hooded eye, you really want to have your eyebrows look a little bit more lifted. And so what I do is I use the uh, eyebrow that I have, but then I go actually above where the natural hair grows. So I actually just, you know, pluck those hairs out. So first, let's talk about your brows, okay? Definitely, if you don't get your brows done, you, this will be your best friend. Use tweezers. Definitely want to take off any hairs that you don't want there. Um, if you put makeup on top of texture, which would be your hair, it's going to show and it's going to look really bad. It's not going to look clean. It's going to look weird and textured. And so what you want to do is always make sure that if you don't get your brows done, that you use those tweezers and clear the skin of any brow hairs that you don't want there. So the first thing that is super, super important when you do your makeup is your primer. I'm going to show you how to do face primer. And I use eye primer. Um, primer is going to keep your makeup in place where it's going to need to set and stay all day long. Without primer, makeup will smear, it'll crease, it'll smudge, it'll actually sink into your skin as well. And so it'll disappear and you're gonna think, what happened to my makeup? If you ever looked at your makeup somewhere around the afternoon after you applied it, say in the morning, and all of a sudden your makeup is gone. <laughs> you know, your foundation, where did it go? It literally sank into your skin, okay? Your skin absorbed it. And uh, the oils that come from your skin also could mix with that and cause creasing. And we definitely don't want creasing and caking, okay? So a good primer, um, one of the key ingredients is dimethicone. So be sure your primer has dimethicone in it. And that also helps your skin not produce so much oils. Okay, all that being said, I'm gonna jump to the eye primer. Um, this particular eye primer, I love it. Oh, hold on, I like to give it a little shake first. I love the strength of this eye primer. You just need a little bit. It's tinted with a, a tan color, which actually just disappears. So don't worry about that. I like to go on my eyelid, but I'm definitely going to go where I'm going to put my brows. Okay, you need to have primer. That way your brow that you draw on is going to stay. It's going to stick and stay. So you really need to double up and use an eye primer as well as your face primer. And you just want to dab it and push it into the skin on and in, okay? So on and in. I have a towel here that I'm going to be wiping my brush on. So while this is setting, you want your primer to set for a good couple minutes. Um, go ahead and give me a shout if you're watching this live. I want to hear from you. Tell me where you're from. Shout out your state or your city. If, you're not, if you don't want to name your state, shout out where you're from. Um, if you are on the replay, type in replay. What? How fun is that? So I just talked to my friend too, and she's at work, so she's going to catch the replay. So shout out to all of you who do jump back on. I really appreciate it. And I have a microphone, so let me know if you guys can hear me. I believe you can, but let me just double check that it is on and live. I'm so excited to be here with you guys. Okay, we are good to go. Good to go. Okay. Double, double check. Double, double check. On. Yes, we are on. <laughs> I'm actually working on my set, the background. It's going to uh, be evolving. So you, you that are watching me from the beginning of Beauty Graffiti are going to see the evolution of a company being born, of a, an idea being born, of, of statements, of a movement being born. And beauty in itself is your confidence in yourself to be 100% you. Always, 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 always. That's what makes you beautiful. It's not looking a certain way or dressing a certain way. It is that inner beauty when you are so comfortable with your own skin, so free to be you, that that love radiates and that love for everybody else just radiates. And that comes from within, from you being 100% free, just free. So that's the beauty. And graffiti says, I'm here. Anytime you go anywhere, you're going to see graffiti. 
somebody wanted to make a, a statement i'm here so your beauty says i am here so that is beauty graffiti so now while the brows have set <laughs> i'm going to show you how to use a brow pencil and a spoolie as well as a brow kit a brow set okay i use both of these when i do brows so let's just jump right in this is a liner and one side has the liner which is a twist up like this so you can see that it twists up there's no need to sharpen it which is genius i love and the other side is the spoolie the spoolies are very very important um what you're going to want to do is comb out your your brows but it also helps you to blend okay so the first thing we're going to do first 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 is just comb the brow just kind of up okay so you want to kind of set it you need a spoolie in your life if you don't have a spoolie you need one <laughs> this one i love because the cap snaps right back on and you're not going to be uh losing the ends losing the caps and you know collecting a bunch of lint you don't want that okay so here is key this is key finding your brow points your brow points are where your brow begins where the arch is and where it ends okay so let's just jump right in and let me teach you that this is a kind of the the black hole of brows if you don't know it <laughs> it's like ah Okay, so here's how you measure. You're gonna take up your liner. It's a, let's just exaggerate this this uh, process. Okay, I'm gonna mark my face. You don't have to do this, but if you need to do this, go ahead and do that because I'll show you how to take it off with your spoolie. So go ahead and do that from the inside of your nostril all the way to the top. You're gonna make a straight line, and that's where your brow starts from the inside. So I'm just gonna make a line. Okay, I'm exaggerate that. Okay. So why do we not start from the outside nostril? Because some of our nostrils can be larger, wider, smaller, it depends. And that's not where your brow starts. This should not be, I would be starting my brow right here if that was the case. And that's not where the brow starts. The brow starts from the inside of the nostril, straight line, go up. Okay, now you do wanna go from the outside of the nostril. This is your Cupid's bow, okay? So the same side Cupid's bow, outside of the nostril, go up, make a mark. That is your arch okay that's where you're going to do your arch let me exaggerate that that is the arch okay now the end you want to go to the opposite cupid's bow outside of the nostril and follow that line okay so there's the end right there and if you guys want to just make a mark so you can really see it go ahead and do that now what you're going to do is just take the line the liner Start from the bottom and connect those two dots. Okay, so you see how I'm doing kind of a connect the dots there with that. Okay, so then you're going to go to the top. We're going to work these brows and make them look awesome. Okay, it's not going to stay so harsh like that. <laughs> but you can see why I have taken off the ends of my brows because I'm actually going to go higher. This is where my normal brow hairs are lower. This is where we're gonna go a little higher, okay? Now what I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna leave that alone for a minute and I'm gonna go now and use the actual brow palette. This is the Obsession Brow Palette. I love it because it has everything I need in one. I don't use this, that's why it's got the brown on it because I just let the, the shadow fall on it, but I don't really use this because I have other colors for my transition color, so I, I just let it go. <laughs> but um, let me show you what to do. This is your brow artist brush. You need this in your life for brows. One side is flat and very thin, and one side is angled, flat, very thin, okay? So we're gonna take the angled side now, and we're gonna start with the lightest color, the lightest color in the brow palette. So you wanna really get in there and tap off the excess, always tap off the excess. So I like to start by just filling in from the ends forward. And I'm kind of making little little strokes. I don't want to go in like a paintbrush, but I'm kind of making like little strokes with this, this motion. This is all going to be cleaned up. <laughs> okay, so you need to use two colors for your brows to give your brows dimension. If I just did one color like this, it would look ridiculous, okay? And it would just be crazy. So you don't want to do that. <laughs> but you do want the lightest color to be in the beginning of your brow, in the start of your brow. You want the darkest color to be on the tail, okay? Let me see if I can angle a little bit better. 
Okay, that's a little bit better. I got the sunlight really coming in that window right here. Thank you for being with me. I really, really appreciate it. I'm excited to do this show. So you see how I'm doing like little brush strokes and I'm holding my brush at this angle. The angle is down, okay? I'm going down to up. Now what I'm gonna do is not even clean the brush because I, I don't mind that that color's on there. Grab some of the dark. Always tap off the excess and start from the tail because that is where you want the darkest part of your brow. I'm going towards the bottom and I'm making little hair-like strokes kind of down to up. And this is all going to look smoothened out and evened out when I'm done. Right now it looks crazy. It looks crazy. That looks like this is a brow tutorial. Yeah, watch. Just stick with me. Stick with me. <laughs> so now I'm going to do brow strokes that kind of go down. So we've got like this cross effect. And that just gives your brows a little bit more of a natural look. Okay, all this is going to be cleaned up. If you're just jumping on, thank you for being here. Thank you so much. Let me just really make this darken up now. I'm showing you this so you don't have to be perfect. I have seen brow tutorials and I'm just like, they, they just seem like they've got some magic brow glitter going on. <laughs> like, how did you do that? You know? <laughs> so, you're going to find what works for you. All right. Now, check out how we're going to clean this up. So what I'm going to do is just swirl my brush off on this towel. The next thing we're going to do is grab that spoolie, and we're going to make this not, not look so intense. Okay, first we're going to just spoolie it up, and that's going to kind of blend everything out. And now I'm going to actually spoolie off those marks that I made. Okay, there we go. Now it doesn't look so harsh. It's looking a little bit, little better, a little lighter, a little bit. Now I'm going to handle this too. You don't want this to be the beginning of your brow. You do not want that look. Okay, so you can take your spoolie and kind of lightly take the end, or you can actually pull it this way very lightly because you don't want to take it all off, but you do want to soften that up. You definitely want to soften the start of your brow. Soften it up, okay? So take that spoolie. Now you see how that spoolie just kind of like made it look a little bit more natural? So this is a brow wax. Another reason why I love this, this particular uh, palette, just with your finger, just touch the actual part where your hair is. And that's gonna keep that where it needs to be. Okay, now we're not done. Not by any means. <laughs> okay, two things. If you have a darker brow, you're gonna wanna do more of a stronger eye look. If you're just gonna not do an eye look and you wanna stay simple, you're not going to want to go this dark. You want to just going to keep it light and just do mascara. Okay, but if you're going to do a full eye look, um, which I will finish up with um, afterwards, and I'll post a after picture to show you what that looks like, um, you'll see that it's going to make sense. But right now, it just looks too intense because it is <laughs> for what's going on right now. So now what we're going to do is we're going to clean it up with concealer. This is Skin Perfecting Concealer. I love this concealer. It is so strong but it doesn't feel heavy it just has the most amazing coverage you're going to need a cream shadow brush what is a cream shadow brush it is a brush that's synthetic hair it's angled and it's paddle shaped the end is paddle shaped it's not a fluffy brush <clears throat> that's really important so you're going to want to touch into the concealer try to get it onto the edge as well as a little bit onto the flat see how it's flat and on the edge okay so grab your mirror and what you want to do is go right underneath that brow that you just created. Okay, move your hair. See how I just did that on there? Just under the brow. This is your chance to clean up your brow. You can reshape it. You're like, oh no, I made it too thick on this part. I can clean it up now. You can also get that end really uh, sharp. And now once you've got your concealer on, you're gonna to wanna to feather it down. This took some practice for me. I mean, I, I gotta be honest, when I started doing this concealer trick, I had to practice because my hand would get wobbly. And I'd be like, oh my God, I'm like, I don't think it's supposed to look like that. <laughs> Unless you've seen those wiggle brows, I was like a natural at that. So anyway, just have fun playing and practicing. 
and just get the look you want, okay? Now this is so important. When you use the concealer, you must set it. You must, you must set it with an eyeshadow. Uh, you can use actually a translucent setting powder, but you must set your concealer. Eyeshadow works just fine. I use a neutral color all over the lid. It's matte, a matte neutral color before the, the rest of the eye looks. Okay, another thing to do is clean up the top. So what you're gonna wanna do is really get the concealer onto actually more of the flat of the brush because now you're gonna go across the top just flat. And just follow your brow. Just follow your brow that you created, okay? Now if I was doing my other eye, I'd be doing it like this, and I'd be doing my concealer up, and I'd be doing my nose, and I'd be doing everything else so that this wouldn't look so harsh. And now I have an opportunity to fix the, any top. I can really get that end the way I want it. And again, I would be here in my nose. So what I can do here too, which is so important, is grab your spoolie once again at this point as well. And you can actually pull a little bit into that concealer and go a little bit in like this. And so it doesn't erase the line, but it definitely softens it up. You want this to be softened, okay? Some people really have an exaggerated uh, soft swoosh look, and that's fine. You can do what you want. Everybody can do what they want. <laughs> but this is how you actually just create your brow. So, you know, after this, of course, comes the makeup look, and you're going to just, you know, blend everything. But that's how you would do that. Now, let's say you're going to go for a softer look. And let's say you are just, you don't want to do all that. And you just want to put a little bit of brow on. So I'm going to do my other side. In that way. Oh, I didn't. I didn't. Hold on. <laughs> oh, I did. I did. I did. I used the primer on that side. Because you can't do this without primer. It won't work. Um, <clears throat> going back to the brow and using the lightest color. All I'm going to do now is just kind of give my brow a little bit of a fill. A little bit of a line. I don't want it so harsh. And a little tiny bit of a fill. That's it. That's it. Like, I just want something there. Because... Rather than just walking around with half brow, <laughs> which is what I have to do in Zumba because I can't sweat and keep my brows. I'd be wiping my brows off. So this is what you would do for a lighter brow. And you don't want to do all the, the, the heaviness. You don't want to do three colors. You don't want to use three products. You don't want to, you just want to have something. That's why you would just use the lightest color in your brow palette and just leave it as is. Grab a little bit of that brow wax. Just give it a little touch. This keeps your natural brows just in place. So my friend was saying, oh, my brows are crazy. You know, it's hard to keep them in control. And so sometimes, too, you just need to get some of that brow wax on your brow. That'll help keep it exactly where it needs to be. And I love that this is actual brow wax. This is not a, <clears throat> a uh, replacement product. This is brow wax. So what you do with the rest of your palette, <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> you can actually grab the other end of your brow artist brush and get into this shimmer. If you do not have hooded eyes, you're going to want to take this shimmer and you're going to want to put it right here under your arch. And that's going to make the light just hit it just a little bit, like just right. But if you do have hooded eyes, which you'll notice for me, a shimmer right here closes the eye. So that's key. If you have hooded eyes, you want to keep this a matte. So whatever you do up here that's a highlight, make it a matte. If you want to use the shimmer, that would be if your eyes were deeper set and you can see the crease. You can see, like, if I do this, you can see my crease, but I don't have that crease. I have to actually fake it when I do my makeup. So that's what you, those are key. Hi, guys. Thanks for being here. Um, those are key components to doing your brows. You're going to definitely want to, you can keep it light or you can go darker and bigger for more of a dramatic look. So I'm going to go finish up my eyes. I'll do an after picture. But I really want to hear from you if this helped you or if you have a different method that you love, let me know. Drop it in the comments. Um, but if this really helped you, let me know, okay? Um, I have something super cool to tell you that if you guys want to know, uh, send me a message. I will let you know um, how you can get your hands on these and actually save some money. So let me know if you want to know more about that in the comments. Say, me, me, tell me, or just send me a message. I am never too busy for you, ever, ever, ever.
<laughs> Thank you guys for jumping on Beauty Graffiti episode four, how to brow. Now there's many different ways to do all kinds of makeup. And of course, if you're just catching, the, catching me now, this is a not finished face look. This is just where you start your brows. Um, another reason why you want to do your brows first is because as you're creating this landscape and your brows are framing your face, you're gonna now know where to put your eyeshadow. If you do your eyeshadows first and your brows after, your brows are just gonna be following what you've already done. And if that's your method that makes you feel good and makes you feel comfortable, then by all means, go ahead and do that. But in general, generally speaking, when your brows are there to frame your face, it also tells you where I will put my eyeshadow up to here, as opposed to if my brow is shorter at the end and my eyeshadow was out too far, you know, it just, it gives you a map, okay? So consider your brows as your framing your face and is your roadmap as well for your eyeshadows. And especially if you're doing a smoky eye and you're really gonna pull that, that eyeshadow out, you definitely wanna stay in line with your brows. Okay, so I hope that helped you and thank you so much for being here. Beauty Graffiti, episode four, how to brow. Feel free to share this video if you think somebody would really dig some brow help or some ideas. It's not even like, girl, you need help with your brows. It's like, oh my God, this is really cool. <laughs> So share the love, share the episode. Um, definitely, by all means, click a like on this page and follow. When you hit follow, you're going to see these options. If you choose see first, every time something is posted, you're going to boom, you're going to get that cool little bell. And it's like this little bell. It's like so cool. And you just hit that bell, hit that bell, see what's going on at Beauty Graffiti. I have so many things coming up for you guys. I'm so excited. What is coming up? I, I, I just, I, I, I'm dying to tell you, but I just can't yet but I'm dying to tell you. Uh, so stick with me, definitely hit follow and see first so you'll know first when I'm ready to reveal. Okay guys, take care. Thank you so much for being here. Have a great day. Bye.